there my crafty friends and this is a kit update at the end of the month. It is almost the first and so I wanted to share all the progress I've made to kill this kit that I created for the counterfeit kit challenge group and um, so I believe that I started out the month with roughly 30 sheets of pattern paper maybe like 25, 28, something like that. I didn't actually count them, but um, I want to say that, and I did add a few as I, as I went because I needed to do a couple double page layouts, but this is all of the pattern paper uh, 12 by 12 that I have left as full sheets. Um, I didn't use them for whatever reason, but um, so I have four left and I did add four from my other rest of my stash. So I feel like these could just go back into my stash and not count because I used four others because like I said, I was doing a double page layout and I needed papers that matched. So um, these are all of the large scraps that I have left. And I did have a piece of solid. Um, as I was going, I tend to cut this month since I was working on my six by eight album. I tended to cut my paper into um, two six by 12 pieces and then turn those and cut one that was eight by six and then one little card, it would end up with a card that was four by six. So um, I did cut down a lot of my paper and I do have some pages that are six by eight. Um, I've started kind of collecting those in a separate section over here. Actually, these are just, this was from an album, but, um, over here. So I have kind of a little growing stash of, uh, six by eight pattern papers so that I can grab those, um, to use in my future album pages. So yeah, I do have a few that was actually from an older kit, but so yes, but they're going to be reused in another way. So I, I count that as being used. They're not 12 by 12 full size papers anymore. Um, and then I did try really, really hard to use my, my scraps as I went along. Um, I think I've used more of my scraps than I did on the full size papers, but pretty proud of my progress. I feel like I used most of my, um, stash. Okay. So then these are the small scraps that I have left. Not a whole bunch. I'm still debating if I'm actually how much I'm going to keep of these. Obviously, if it's like a journal card of some sort, I'm probably going to keep that one. Also, really like the ledger paper. I have a tendency to add things to my kit as I go, so that kind of causes a problem. It's hard to say I bash the kit. I started keeping all the teeny tiny scraps that I'm not going to actually keep keep. I just wanted to show how much of the paper I actually used as I went along, I um, took out my dies and I started fussy cutting out some some paper. Um, so like this one with the diamonds, which is also um, has the full size animals on it. I fussy cut that so that I could have some little, a little hedgehog and a little rabbit. And of course my little squirrel and a fox. And I cut those out using my dies. Um, with the intention of using those as embellishments. I'm going to keep those off to the side. I had a full page that had coffee phrases all over it. So I used my circle dies to cut some of those coffee phrases, but then I also can use the ledger that's on the back for like a journaling spot, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, I did use my Cricut and I die cut a piece I cut some a background with hearts, um, so I kept the hearts that were the negative just to be able to use them in a future layout, of course, because it also has coffee, so if it has coffee, I have to keep it, um, and I have, so I have some hearts left over, but I did use those from the pattern paper. This is actually a scrap, so something else that I actually used more of, okay, that's the scraps, and then here's the, um, the, the sticker sheets. So one of my goals, and I will show this in a minute, um, I really wanted to kind of kill the sticker sheet. Um, and I realized I'm going to save it because a couple of things, I'm saving this book one for later. Um, and I didn't get a chance to use the coffee cup or the, or the photo or the camera, but that's okay. There's probably a few on here that I just will never use. 
but that's okay too. I'll probably find somebody else who wants them and pass it along. I feel like I, I really did use a lot of this, a lot of this sticker sheet. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And I did pull several sticker sheets this month. Um, I don't understand the concept of don't use a lot, pull a lot because then you have to use a lot. But um, I used a lot of this one, Happy Hearts, as I went. I really like the little journal spots and the little phrase stickers. So I feel good about having used those. I'm also going to save that book for a future kit. Um, I think I used a bunch of these noteworthy. I really probably started with an almost full sheet when I started the month. So this one I did use a bunch of. The, the titles, of course. I love the titles from Vicki Booten and the butterflies and some, so I definitely think I used a bunch of that. I feel like I used a good amount. Definitely like seeing all those empty spots. This one, I really wanted to use the whole sheet, but I just couldn't um, quite find the best way to use all, this, all the little stickers, but I definitely enjoyed using these little phrase stickers this month as I created pages for my mini me album. Same thing with these. Didn't quite use as many as I would have liked, but that's okay. These were kind of specific in what they said, so it didn't quite work with my with my layouts, but that's okay because I can always pull them again for a future kit. So um, in addition to these, I also used a lot of stamps, um, and I used that one sticker sheet so that I could do a bunch of cards. So let's talk about what I actually created this month with this kit. So I didn't use this for my, this was not for my kit, but this was layout that I created. I did a hop called the Tool Time Tuesdays and we used um, a template and I created this these two pages. So that's two pages that I created this month. Then I created a double page layout. This is why I had to pull from my stash to get some background paper that matched and then this paper was from my stash, but then I had to pull another one, I think. This one was from my kit. This one was also for my kit. So I cho chose to do that one and add a whole bunch of different pieces from my kit, plus some journaling cards. I was playing around with using those Project Life cards. This one was created all from my kit using just playing around, having fun. I think I was trying to do something called fill up the page using lots of different stickers and embellishments and that so that was kind of fun and the same idea here um started with the photo and expanded out using the colors um from all the little pieces and bits and bobs in my kit so that was kind of fun thing to do for that one so those are the 12 by 12 pages i've created and then and i'm going to apologize for the glare it's kind of um cloudy today so my light is going to create an extra special glare, but so I did create this. Um, this is my mini me album. And I think everything I did in this album this month is from, was from this month. So I'm working through a, a class called plan prep play, which is on the Allie Edwards site. And it's hosted by Linda Jordan and, um, or Farrington. Um, and so we did a hop call. I did a hop called Iron Crafter. It's a new hop that I'm hosting every month on the final Friday of the month. And this month we were playing with sequins, beads, and pearls. And so I created this um, shaker to highlight my word of the year. This was a layout I did for a scrap lift. So there is a video for this one. And I put it on my front page because it's kind of a title page for the year. I liked my photo. I thought it was a great little way to start off my album. This was one of the projects in um, that plan prep play class, thinking about why do I scrapbook? What is my reason behind scrapbooking? I really like that about Allie Edwards classes is that they, they think, make you think about not just recording those stories, that's a big part of it, but also why. And so I loved making that page. This was for a um, scrap lift for my friend Christine. Not scrap lift. It was a celebration of a thousand meeting a thousand subscribers on her channel. So uh, she wanted a page that used a unicorn. So I created kind of a two page layout using that. This one is um, scrap lift where we scrap lifted a card which used acetate and. I created a little shaker card and a, and a pocket, so I used my dies to cut that, and that was fun. That was interesting because I had never used that die before. 
Don't forget that the theme this month for the um, how, to, how to Kill a Kit with Style, the theme was coffee. So there's a lot of coffee themed pages this month. Here's where I use those dyes, um, fussy cut papers and some flair from um, Scrap and Happy Studio to highlight my love of coffee. One of the pages where I did that. This is for a scrap lift that um, is going live today on Sunday. So um, hopefully you'll go back and check that out on my channel. That was super fun to do. This was one for a video of a technique using an old technique, making it new again. I haven't used texture paste in a long time. So I went through and did a page using texture, texture paste. And that was really fun. And that was part of the uh, challenge from the counterfeit kit club or uh, challenge community. This one was just an attempt to use up some scraps also as a facing page to my cat page, which is a scrap lift. And I decided that if I did a page about my cat, I needed to do a page about my dog. So I had to be uh, kind of equal about that. I also love this photo of my kid with the dog. Um, and that was fun. And then here's another page showing how much I love coffee. Also, this was a uh, celebration hop for Misty uh, for reaching 2,000 subscribers, I believe. And so I used her cut file, and um, that's where those hearts came from that I used earlier that you saw. Then I was playing around with pocket pages, learning kind of how to do that and using some of my embellishments. So I just started adding stuff, embellishments in. I don't know if these count as a layout or not, but this was definitely a layout that I did highlighting some of my um, adventures as a attending quilt market, quilt festival, and all my quilty friends that I've made in the, in the previous years. This was a, um, another layout I did. Pretty simple full page layout. I just wanted to be able to use some of those stickers and maybe this little um, journal card that I had. Again, I just used the pocket page and added the stickers to the front of the page. But then this one I actually stamped IQF because that means International Quilt Festival. And I figured that was a good title for this section, for this page. And um, a way to show my friend and I that we meet up at Quilt Festival and other events throughout the year. These aren't finished, but they're on the way. So I put those in there. So that's pretty much my six by eight album that I've created all of those pages this month. I feel like I did a lot, um, but it's been so fun to have the coffee theme and the um, kit to work from. And so I'm just very proud of myself for having finished, um, not finished, but done as much as I did. Oh, and then I also have um, some cards. So I did spend a Saturday creating cards using those stickers and some stamps that I had. So these are all pretty much stickers from that sticker sheet. Um, and then some stamps. I wasn't sure how to use the one with the girls, but I like how that one came out. This one was because I accidentally put the tape when I cut the paper. I accidentally put the tape runner on the wrong side and when I flipped it over, it turned out that the way that the page had been cut, the flowers were in the right spot at the bottom. So I figured that, you know, um, this was a good kind of encouragement card theme. There's the one, I had a lot of fun with these. I also had fun coming up with cute phrases to put inside that were from my stamps. Um, I thought that one was super cute with the stickers. I had donut stickers on the sticker sheet, which that sticker sheet was so random. So there's one, you know, coffee, warmest greetings. That was from the same stamp set. You're the best ever. Just happened to have a stamp set that said thanks for all you do and have a little owl. The hang in there. And then I tried to do a stamp phrase on the front and then something with a sticker and a little message on the inside. That's kind of my pattern. If you're interested and you haven't already, you can sign up on my newsletter and I'll send you a video tutorial on how to make cards, simple, easy cards like this. Um, in my tutorial, tutorial, I walk you through how to make two different cards specifically. So, so that's all the cards that I made in addition just to use up some scraps of paper and to use up some stickers. And I started using my stamps and I had a lot, a lot of fun. So I'm probably gonna keep that going. It's nice to have a stash of cards. Next month, I'll probably make a lot more birthday cards, maybe some Valentine ones. So 
that's what I've created. I hope that you enjoy this. I can't wait to share my February kit with you. And the theme from that for how to kill a kit with style for that is a uh, vintage in addition to the kit with the inspiration kit for counterfeit kit challenge, which that will be going live on February 1st. So thank you so much. And I will check back in with you later.